Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Madison and Christian here. We're gonna be watching some more Vox Machina for you guys today. Now, last episode was crazy with the whole double cross from Dola. We really didn't see that coming. And we know that most of the group is stuck in uh, the city of Dis trying to get that new vestige. And they really have no way back through the portal to the regular world. So it should be another good one. We appreciate you guys for joining us today. I think we're ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where is she? Oh. I felt weak the moment we entered the hills. I need to know you're still- Child, redemption does not exist in the realm of the dam. Oh. Your soul is precious. There are those in hell who would use it for wicked aims. Ignore my words and you will find yourself alone. Damn, are you serious? So she can't use the Everlight while she's in hell? Oh, I, I was just making sure we're being looked out for. Oh, you got us got our backs? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Definitely not. There it is. The city of Ugh. Death. That's gross. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Bigger antlers. Bigger antlers. <laughs> that's Grog. How's this feel? Oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> Wicked. Exactly. You okay? Those souls. Wish I could help them. Jeez. Hey, it's gonna be okay, buddies. Hell ain't such a bad place. I mean, lots of people have told me to go here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. no. That one knows. You lot are bold enough to see him. Oh god. Oh, Keyleth. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she swallowed it. Oh. Do you know where we can find the brass skull? We're looking for someone named Xerxes. <laughs> <laughs> She's really committing. Maintain it would have been safer to drill our way out. Yes, but my way was cooler. Very true. Kima! She can't be far. What do you want to do? I'm going to tear that fucking dragon to pieces. Oh, they gotta go back to where she fell. Yep. You look like hell, even for a demon. I, I think I'll wait here a sec. No. You guys keep searching. Maybe she should have stayed because it's affecting her. No, don't talk to them. Redeem this woman with your healing light. No. No. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. She fucked up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, no, no. Okay, Grog. And the Everlight told her these souls cannot be saved. We gotta get back to the portal. No the armor. Damn, okay. It's helping her. <laughs> oh gosh. Nice, Keyleth. Fuck me, it's gonna be close. She looks more sick the closer they get. Oh, it helped. Oh, Cyclops beam. Yep. 
Yeah, this is weird. Why would they be welcomed? You certainly know how to make an entrance. How did you know we were coming? Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Ah. Uh... We were sent by Jaman Ord. They left something with you. Every decade or so, Jamon comes to test their rather poor luck at my table. In a oh. game? For a vestige. <laughs> no. You'd have to make an exquisite offer. Somebody's soul. <gasps> no. It's gonna be her soul. Now, now. Rules are what separates Death's Path from the truly miserable planes of existence like yours. No cheating. Allowed. I don't trust that coming from you. Huh? Huh? Mike? What oh, are they going to play uh. Yu-Gi-Oh? What is this? <laughs> Safe but silenced. So the game remains fair. Shall we? Oh my gosh, Pike. Such pure Quite special, really. Oh, you saw that? Hers was a different color. Mm -hmm. Each player has five cards consisting of four red and a single black skull. On each turn, you may ask your opponent any question to help locate it. However, you must answer all questions truthfully. No. You can't just be like, where is the black card? <laughs> Damn. They got some plush chairs in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Going first obviously has its advantages. As you are my guest, you may do the honors. Is your black skull to the right or left of your middle card? Good question. Your redeemer isn't here, is she? That wasn't my question. He's trying to throw her off. That's your card. Sadly, no. Aren't you going to ask me something? Your friends rely on you. You must take pride in always being there to save them. Mm, this is making me nervous. We do not choose. Any path can be a holy one, so long as one walks it with truth. I once was given a similar choice. It cost me my family. My god betrayed me, as yours will too. Damn. You gave yourself away before. Your eyes, your black card, Second from your left. Ah, <gasps> <gasps> oh, Pike. Contract or no, this is a farce. A needle dick is right. <laughs> I ain't watching this no more. Wait, maybe you should. No. Oh. You are now bound to the sanctum and the service of the fallen knight for eternity. What? For the Plate of the Dawn Martyr, I will require something more substantial. Oh, gosh. The souls of your friends. No! What? One round, winner takes all. <laughs> oh, wait, are we the anti? Oh. I can see why the Everlight favors you. You're as careless with those close to you as you are yourself. Have you ever wondered if the Everlight needs you more than you need her? Never across my mind. What? What the hell? Lying to yourself. Oh, she what? lied, so... <sighs> that sucks. Cut the shit. Which card is your black skull? Interesting approach. That's what Since I thought. I not lie, I'll tell you. It's the one in my hand. That's dirty! Do you ever wonder if your life would be better without the Everlight? Don't lie. Don't lie. Just say yes. yes. Your left card. Okay. She has to get it on this one. She's gotta get it. If you're keeping me here for eternity, I think I deserve to know who you are. Who you were. I come from a time a thousand years ago. Like you, I protected my home as first knight. A member of the Brass Ring. A group similar to yours. Hmm. Mm. The gods set to war upon Exandria. And in the chaos, I found myself face to face with the Lord of Torment himself. Oh, wow. Die with the rest. Or join him and spare my family. 
I watched my husband and son fade with the rigors of time, losing even the memory of me. Oh my gosh. But there is no difference between the gods above and below. They all lie. So that's why you chose her. Okay. I think I have it. Do you wish your family was here? Oh. So, do you want them with you in this nightmare? Or is that too selfish? Ooh. Mm. No, I... Uh... Answer me! Of course not! <gasps> oh, let's go, Pike. My choice is a lot simpler. It's let's go. After all, everyone has a test. He... He looked. He, he looked. looked at that one. That one. Yes. Yes! yes! Pike, 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 Pike. Oh! There it nice. is. Nice! Oh, yes, we yes. knew it. Yes! So, that's the Everlight came through, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, Pike she through. was all alone. Mm -hmm. Anyone else ready to get the fuck out of here? So say we all. Here, take this. It bears my mark. You'll need it to get safely through Death's path. Okay, nice. No matter. The seed of doubt has been planted and will fill her heart with vengeance. No. Watch it grow. So this isn't done. The time for his ascension draws near. What? what does that mean? What are the chances that isn't for us? I say <laughs> That's not a hundred. <laughs> oh my gosh. A kaiju? Great. <laughs> oh, it's it. Bro, Grog is hilarious. <laughs> Dude. Well, guys, this was another crazy episode. I gotta say, I'm I'm really glad that we spent the majority of the runtime in this one uh, with the crew in the city of Dis, mm -hmm. because last episode we spent the majority of the runtime with the characters still on the outside. So I'm really glad we actually got to see the city itself and the characters interacting with all the the demons and the gross, disgusting stuff. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, and I will say. It, like speaking on that, like last episode, we spent time with all the characters outside of Dis, and then in this one, we spent with all of them in Dis, and they were the exact opposite. Outside of Dis is like snowy and cold, and you know, just all the like, environments were different. Yeah, yeah, and then this one was like burning and hellfire. Yeah, and what I feel everything smells like nickels or something because there was so much blood. So it was just. It was just pretty gross in that realm. I'm definitely glad we're out of it. And I'm glad all the characters, oh, well, technically we don't know that they made it out safe because they haven't left. I was gonna say, yeah. I'm so glad they made it out safe, but really we don't know that because now there's a giant- They're gonna, There's gonna be a fight next episode for sure, yeah. Dude, and you know, I was really hoping in this episode, we would see that our characters on the outside figured out a way to let them in. That's the other thing too, right? We never figured that out. Yeah, so... These characters just got the vestige and they're gonna go to what they think is the portal and it's not going to open. And it's not gonna open, yeah. So I'm still worried about our crew and I'm still worried because now we know that that guy wants to kill in the entirety of Vox Machina and doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Only Pike can live and even gave her that like little I don't know. token or trinket, whatever it is. Yeah, the opposite of the Everlight necklace, right? It's the dark one. Mm -hmm. um, as like her token out of there, so. He said that it would protect them on the way out, but he's sending something after them. So I wonder if she'll no, just- No, I think it's only a protection for her. He said it, it oh. bears my sigil so you can get out. He because, didn't say to all of them. Yeah, you're right. He said she's, to you. She's special. She's valuable to him for some reason. Exactly. That's the other thing though. He said something about her, her blood. blood. And I don't know what that means, but we, I, you know, I feel like we saw Pike's backstory, but we didn't see her mom. So possibly, I didn't know if he was talking about like her lineage, yeah. like her bloodline, literally, or just because the fact that she's a priest of the Everlight, she's valuable. A priest of the Everlight going to hell, mm -hmm. right? Like she's different. So I, yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, and then he also said, um, 
that some ancient one or something, some evil doer is going to rise. At first I thought he meant, I, I thought, oh, is he on Thordak's side? No, I thought he meant in his vision when he was like talking about his past life, the guy who came to him. Remember that like giant demon oh, thing? Oh, you think it's, he's talking about that big entity? Yes, that's what I thought he was talking about. Mm. So, but then he said we are his blood, so. So that sounds like Vox Machina is gonna have multiple problems to deal with. The Chroma Conclave and all the dragons and then whatever this dude was just talking about. What if, what if it's on some Ragnarok shit and we can bring back the devil guy to take out the Chroma Conclave? Oh, that'd be <laughs> that'd be crazy. No, I don't think it's going to be like that. But still, I mean, it sounds like Vox Machina is going to be going up against a, like some crazy competitors. So I really don't know how they're going to do all this. And this was this the last vestige or do we still have one more to get? The only person who doesn't have a vestige is Percy. Mm, that I feel like he should get from Ridley. He could get the cloak from Ridley. I want him to get the cloak. I want him to get the cloak. Because he would look so good in the cloak, you know? I don't know. And he doesn't have a whole lot of defense himself. He's really mostly like DPS attack. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if he had the cloak, it would add some level of being able to dodge and being able to like defense, like being able to redirect stuff. Yeah, I he thought it was important that. too because it's deflects magical attacks. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what he would be weak to, right? right? Because... You're right, like he's mostly attack like with his gun and stuff. So. so I hope he gets the cape, but if not the cape, at least some vestige. Yeah, I think all of them should have one. So I, man, this episode was crazy and I did not expect it to go down like that with a game with the devil in hell. That I was loved, awesome. I loved that whole card game part. I I was not expecting that at all. We've even played D and D a, a few times in our mm -hmm. lives, and I've never seen something like that. It was like a game within in the, the game. game. So cool. I know. I was gonna say that was awesome, and I loved the entire like aesthetic of the game room. I was like. Damn, I want to go down to Dis and play some card <laughs> games. I'm down. So yeah, this episode was really fun, very creative. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely still worried about our crew for sure. All right, guys, this was definitely a crazy episode and we don't know if our crew is going to be okay. So if you want to catch the next episode with us, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Definitely helps out the channel and make sure you follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. But as always, you guys are the greatest and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.